In this episode, we talk about a veteran biker that had a run-in with a one percenter. What is a one percenter? It is a member of a diamond club, an outlaw motorcycle club that wears that diamond with the one in it. We're going to break down his footage and let you know why all this happened on this episode of Demon's Road TV. And no, oh, yeah, we ghosting, baby. Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle and motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. Real quick, big shout out to Frost New York for the amazing Demons Row ring. I appreciate y'all for that. So we're gonna break down this footage from a veteran biker and the name of his channel is marine rider he is somebody that is part of the demons row community so go to his channel support the wave and let's break down this footage and see why this happened we've talked a lot about patches over the years we talk about respect for the military and how clubs came and stem from military lifestyle the brothers that came home and also i want to say thank you for your service to everybody out there that does that that puts their life on the line a lot of people have been saying lately pride gets a whole month why did the marines why did the veterans the navy the air force why do these people that put their lives on the line only get one day it doesn't make sense but let's break down this footage uh, motorcycle gear out there and uh as we're uh getting ready to leave I have my vest on, a buddy of mine, he has his vest on as well. Uh, an older gentleman approached me and came up and said, who do I ride with? And I said, I ride with a bunch of friends, hang out, a bunch of military guys most of the time, and we just get out, ride, and enjoy. And he said, oh, okay, I was looking at your vest and trying to figure out what group you rode with. And I said, yep, I just ride with a bunch of guys and hang out. Okay, so let's take a closer look at his vest. You see the American flag, that's love. It says no love. All right, so everything else looks good, but that one thing in the middle, that diamond shaped patch. Now, if you earn your stuff in the military, you earned it. This patch right here probably caught a 1%'s eye because it had a diamond patch on it. It's a different era. A lot more people are part of the culture than just military. So this diamond right here probably caught his eye. Some people get on an ego trip others just want to know what it means but they don't really know how to ask yeah, just ride with a bunch of guys and hang out and have a good time I said oh okay he's like well uh i'll let my guys know you're in the area and i'm thinking that makes no sense to me so i asked him i said why would you let your guys know that we're in the area we're just two guys on a bike with vests that have just military patches on it and that is all and i said i understand MC protocol. I said, are you in an MC? And he said, yes, I am. And I won't name the MC he said he was part of. Uh, but when he told me that, I said, okay. I was like, uh, as far as I know, I'm, and I'm pretty well versed in MC protocol. Uh, I've seen uh, many MC bylaws. I've been in an association. I tried to follow uh, MC bylaws. And so I told him, I said, I understand MC culture, I understand the protocol, and I said, as far as I understand, I don't have anything MC on my vest. I'm not claiming any tour, any territory. I don't have any uh, markings as far as Pennsylvania, Maryland, or anything like that. So this guy knows what he's talking about. No territories, no bottom rocker. This is someone that knows what they're talking about, and they handled the situation the right way with respect. And that's when I told him, I said, I, so I think I'm in the clear as far as that goes. He said, no, no, you're right. He's like, uh, military patches are acceptable just as long as you're not claiming a territory or anything like that. And I said, okay, well then, I'm trying to understand why you're letting your guys know that I'm in, we're in the area. And he said, oh, it's just part of, uh, you know, just, just part of common courtesy. So me personally, what I think the reason why he said he would let people know is probably because of that diamond patch. I think the dude was just trying to see what was up and maybe he didn't really know if that was military stuff or not. And I'm thinking, are these guys actually going to approach us if 
they see US military patches? Probably not. So I don't know if this guy was kind of boasting a little bit just because he saw two guys with vest on and whatnot. First time I have actually had that interaction and I've been hearing more and more on YouTube uh, about those encounters. Covered it on Demon Rose TV, which I follow uh, on YouTube and you know, you get educated on uh, MC protocol. Shout to the Marine Rider for showing some love because a lot of people steal my graphics, steal my whole entire swag and style, and, and they don't pay homage to me. And he shows some love right there, so I appreciate you for that. Go check out his channel, The Marine Rider, and show him some love. And I follow a couple other guys. I've rode with groups before, associations, and we've always been respectful. And that biggest thing to me is, you know, respect given is respect earned. And that's what I always try to do when I go out on, on my bike is always try to give respect to any individual out there and uh, would expect the same in return. Um, not to say that I felt disrespected by this older gentleman. Um, it's just something I thought I should bring up. If, if any other veterans have encounters like that, you know, you may, you may get worried or whatever, but there's nothing to worry about out there, I don't believe. Um, so the way he handled this was smooth and OG-like. If it was another scenario and this one percenter was drunk, and let's say this veteran was drunk and, and he was a hothead and the one percenter was a hothead. He could have asked him about, you know, his patches or whatever. He would have had an attitude, whatever. Next time he's with all his bros, it could be an issue. You never know. So when you handle it with respect and you stand tall, it's the best way to do it. Let me know in the comments any situations you ever had with a one percenter coming up to you, you know, asking you questions about patches or something, you know, involving protocol. If you want to support the role, get your Go Savelli mask now. They're on www.demonsroad.com. I got another video where I talk about 1% of patch meanings. Patches you should not wear. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.